Welcome to Positive Nerdery, the YouTube channel, not to be confused with Positive Nerdery, the blog, which there's also links to all over the place. What I'm going to be doing here for this YouTube channel is I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy. Starting with, of course, the first Final Fantasy, but then all of the Final Fantasies in a row. So I'm going to start with the very first one, move on to Final Fantasy 2, which I've never played before, Final Fantasy 3, never played before, all the way up through 10, I'm going to skip 11 for obvious reasons, 13, 12, 15, probably not going to play 14 because there's only so much time we have here on this earth. And I would like to get them all done before Final Fantasy 16 comes out. Now, some of them, it's been a real long time since I've played. Some of them, I replay on a regular basis. For example, this one, I haven't played since... Since... When did Final Fantasy Origins come out? 96? 97? It came out with, um, on the original PlayStation. With the original Final Fantasy and uh, Final Fantasy 2 on it. So. You may notice that I am not using what is considered to be the best team for Final Fantasy, and that would be a fighter, a black belt, white mage, black mage. Not even being creative with the names. I can't do it. Ever since reading 8-Bit Theater, this is canonical. It has to be fighter, thief, red mage, and black mage. That, that's just the way it is. Yes, I'm going to begin the game for this party because this is the only way to play Final Fantasy. So I'm playing the Pixel Remaster, which includes a few things not in the original. Like this. And I'm playing it off of Steam, so if my cursor appears every now and then, that's why. The original version of the game gave you one screen of background text. And then it just dropped you off right in front of Corneria? Corneria? That's a problem for no voices in these old ones. Not really sure. Ooh, Mode 7. Look at those curves. Oh, those curves are glorious. Crystal, or again, going by 8 bit theaters lore, a light bulb. Yep, I'm using mouse and keyboard for this. Uh, just because I've been doing a lot of PC gaming, and that just feels more natural now to me. Cornelia. The City of Dreams. Okay. Well, 
it already looks way better than the original 8-bit NES version. And, if you'll notice, upper right hand corner, there's a map. That's amazing. I will appreciate that. Once they get to some of those later dungeons, like oh, the, the castle in the sky, gonna need the mini map. The marsh cave, gonna need the mini map. But some of them, like the earth cave, I'm pretty sure I have memorized just from how many times I've played this. That's a really nice quality of life improvement right there. <laughs> Light bulbs. They're still warm. Uh, no spoilers for 8-bit theater or anything, but... Mm. Mm. This is already way more discussion than the original game had, which I'm pretty sure just had the one text block pop up for every character, and that was it. And yet, it still conveyed the same plot. It was amazingly well-crafted. have our first mission that mini map is still so cool I'm I'm sorry I'm just amazed by it I'm not sure that's a plot of Final Fantasy Origins but I also can't say it's Definitely not the plot. I haven't played Final Fantasy Origins, and I suppose I should at some point during this whole thing. All right, give me a moment. Ah, oh, tabs open the menu. Okay. <gasps> It shows how much experience to level up. You kids these days have no idea how much I love seeing that. <gasps> I can save right here in the menu. That's amazing. Alright, but I have 500 gold. <gasps> They call it Gil. All right. Getting everything all in line. Let's see if I can do any shopping before we do anything else. Yes, I can. <gasps> you can select a number. All right. First game. You had to actually buy something up to 99 times. It was very, very annoying. The famous Nintendo Power Strategy Guide even commented on how annoying it was. Okay. Wait. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that's so cool. I mean, yeah, that's stuff we expect in our RPGs now, but this is one of the 
original RPGs. And I notice I could equip right here. And then sell right away. Oh, it's amazing. All right, let's go to the temple and take down Garland. Wait. I think I forgot something important. <sighs> That's right. Magic is bought at the store. Hmm. It looks like they changed some of the names around. The idea there was called Harm in the original game. Red Mage has his white and black spells. Black Mage has his damage dealing. Now, ready to go to the temple. Well, maybe not right away. Let's try and level up a little bit first. Uh, yep, still has the same slot system, so you can only use these twice, which really reduces his effectiveness in the early levels, but... Oh, that music is so classic. It sounds so good. Yeah, I've got the game audio cranked a little bit, just because it's Final Fantasy and... You, you you need that that soundtrack. Hmm. Original game just had black backgrounds. And even then it had this really annoying thing where if you went to swing at an enemy and someone else had killed them, it would just say your attack was ineffective and it wouldn't do anything. See here, they just move on and attack someone else. They fixed that in the uh, Origins re-release. Holy crap. Getting 25 hit points. 26 hit points, amazing. Two. Not amazing. One. Just pathetic. Now, how far to the next level? Alright. Let's grind up to level 3 at least. Now, that's one thing I'm really not sure about going back to this game. How much grinding do I have to do? The modern Final Fantasies are all tuned. I mean, for the most part, even Final Fantasy VI was tuned, so you didn't have to really do too much grinding to 
keep advancing. But I don't know how much they've changed. And speaking of which, let me check one thing. Auto battle. Okay. Looks like there's an option for double speed, but... Nope, that's just the auto battle. Okay. It turns that on, so let's see what it does. That makes grinding so much easier. I already love this. I think one more battle should be around level three. Maybe one more after this. <sighs> one. Mm. Okay, definitely after this next one. I mean, mathematically, it's impossible. There we go. Yep. Alright. Going to heal because whenever they leveled up, they weren't going back up to full HP. And... Just in case. Stop by the item store. Okay, they still have the tents and everything. But let's just get five potions. Red Mage can only do so much curing. Let's head up towards the temple. When I was a kid and I first rented this game, I think I did this opening sequence from here until we battle the pirates. Just over and over. Alright, so now... Do I go straight to Garland, or do I go looking for some of the treasure? Right. This music is really cool, and I have a cool little fog effect going on. Uh, I am in love with this pixel remaster. I don't care if it cut content from the Game Boy Advance version. It looks really cool, and I love all these little touches. Okay, I kind of care if they cut content, but... But, Black Mage is dead. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Can't just use a potion on him. Um, okay, uh, yes, this game requires grinding still. I thought I'd be fine just going up a few levels. I was wrong. I 
That was almost a disaster. <sighs> I really thought this first episode of he's still dead. If I'm playing a lot of Dragon Quest lately, I should have remembered you have to go somewhere else to resurrect people. With one hit point. Oh. Mm. Want my channel to be PG? Don't say it. Alright, well, I'm at least gonna get the sleeping bag. That way we can restore hit points and everything a little bit. And... Okay. Alright. Black Mage is back up. Save. I really thought this first episode I'd finish off Garland and I'd get to see the bridge being built cutscene. No. We're we're not even gonna get to see Garland in this first video. Oh boy. Um, the enormity of what I plan on doing to myself is slowly starting to sink in. Go closer to the temple, there's tougher enemies, probably worth more experience. Speed things up a little bit. There we go. Alright. We're gonna go back in. I'm not going to auto battle. Holy crap. That hurt. Forty six damage, and he's still up. Okay. All right, all right, not not too bad. 31 experience points right there. Ah, nice. One hit kills. Okay. And we're about to level up again. I thought there were side rooms here that had some treasure in them, but maybe mistaken. Oh, jeez, two hit points again. Ugh. Oh, there is, okay. All right, thank you, Minimap, for proving my memory correct. Oh, this big group again. All right, we lost Black Mage last time. Let's... Let's bust out some magic. Hmm. 
he's still standing. Okay, very good. Okay, a free potion and a free tent. Ooh, an upgraded zombie. Okay. Uh, let's go see what's in this corner. Okay, I don't like the looks of that werewolf. Okay, good. I don't know why I'm so tense. It's the opening sequence of the original Final Fantasy. It's not that hard. Ooh, leather cap. It brings us defense up to two. Just because I don't want to risk anyone getting a surprise big hit from these things, because we learned earlier they can take a pounding. see what this next corner has and I think I missed the top right but that may be getting greedy if I go for it but then again there is an achievement for getting all of the treasure chest I should probably try and go for it Unfortunately, Red Mage is poisoned and I have no antidotes. And, uh, yeah, this is what happened in older RPGs when you got poisoned. Every step you take, he takes damage. So, I'm gonna cure him since I forgot to do that. And just gonna try to. Get back to town, heal up, and call this a first session. made it up to level 6. Except Black Mage is still at level 5. Oh, achievement unlocked, Apprentice Warrior. Probably for getting a hundred guys already. Right, let me just see if this guy will do a detox, or if I just have to stay at the inn. Stay at the inn it is. No. I need to actually buy a potion and cure him. In case it happens again. Ooh, 
a nice way to restore magic levels. That's really cool. first session 28 minutes in leveled up a bunch got established learned how to revive people learned how to cure po poison all good things making progress not bad for the very first steps of project final fantasy stay tuned and i will see all you guys later